Okay, so we've got a reasonable setup here. It's been a bit muddled up because um, one of the horses was withdrawn recently, so the market's splattered all over the place. Um, and it's difficult to read anything into the graphs at the moment, so we're going to have to sit and wait for the activity. You can see gaps in the uh, matched bet volume, and this is where the rule 4 kicked in. So money's been matched at uh, odd prices, which sort of doesn't make any sense. Um, but that's just a, a function of this withdrawal. It's, it's a bit of a pain because they've had to reprice the market and the level at which orders were, were placed. So difficult. you can see a bit of backing activity going on here. Can you, see, can you see the backing activity come into the market? A bit more backing activity. Somebody's thrown some money back in on the other side. Money at 183 is what we're interested in. That was one of the first orders that we saw hit the market and push the price down. That looks like that's about to go. That's been beaten in again. Long term trend on this is bloody erratic. <laughs> that's all I can say about that. Difficult. Difficult one, you know. Near the bottom end of the current trading range. Um, don't take me alive as drifting. Maybe we'll keep an eye on that one. Quite big prices. I'm expecting a bounce back at some point. But there's not enough true liquidity in the market to really get a feel for where current price activity is. I, th I think we're in the process of a bounce back here. I mean, it's traded a low of 175 ish. So, you know, if it breaches that, <clears throat> the price will continue to come. And if it doesn't, then it should start to bounce back. I think we're beginning to see the start of a bounce back. Not much money supporting the bounce back though. Let's let's pop an order in. That's been taken. Getting ready to dump it. Really relies upon 178 filling and the price moving beyond that. There you go. It's been beaten back in again. So the, what I'm reading at the moment is the there's um, not a great deal of pressure for the price to go out. You know, somebody keeps wanting to back this at this particular moment in time. And let, as soon as he says that, the price starts to go out. Um, but you know that's okay. We'll we'll see if the price gets backed again. It's very thin though. You see, and this is the problem. The, the the smaller amounts of money you get on either side make it harder to read. Money's coming at 180, and there's one at 176 here as well. Money's been taken from 180. Difficult to see any evidence of anything happening. I just want to. If it breaches 175, I'm tempted to back it. so little money above and below it. This is what makes it hard when there's not big chunks of money. Okay, so now now it's been pushed a bit higher. High tide is coming in. Let's see if that money gets taken. It, it seems a pivotal point, 180, 181. Not much above it. It's very thin. There's no, there's no real oomph in this market at this stage. So really, my opinion is beginning to form between 175 and 180. If it breaches in either direction, I'm going to jump on the back of that trend. Backed in again, but it needs to push lower than this to get a run going. And it hasn't. So while it's stuck in this narrow range, it's not of great interest to me. It'd be very easy to get this wrong on either side. So I need it to go above this. So it's go, the current pattern is going up to 180, getting backed in, going up, going down, going up, going down. I'm going to get dizzy in a minute. There we go, backed in again. What I'm going to do actually is pop an order in at 180. We'll see if we get filled on that and give us a chance to trade out. Um, if it reaches that level again, and if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to dump it super fast at 181. Money's coming at 176 to support the lower end of the range. 178 is of interest to me, if that if that sweeps through that quickly. You see some support coming in here at the bottom. If that gets pulled though, the price will move. So it would be interesting to see if it comes up and touches 180 again. 
slight drift on King's Destiny. It's quite interesting. Money at 179. We're in a good position at 180 now. Loads of support down at this level. So I think, in fact, let's see what happens at 178. I think, in fact, we could be headed past this. A little bit late. Got matched. Go on. Push, 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 push. We need 180 to go. It's the only way. Come on. 180. Come on. No. Nope. My original uh, position was correct. Oh no, it has gone. <laughs> Just when all hope was lost. Okay, let's uh, let's get this move confirmed then. This event will start in five minutes. Five. I need something to come in though to really push this higher. Otherwise, I'm in danger of it coming back in the other direction. Come on. Not much support. I need some support at 181. Support at 180 now, uh, but it's just not happening. Just not happening. I need 181 to thin out and money to come in on the other side. There we go. Okay, nice little bit of activity there. Need to push past 195. I'm going to take out a little bit of this position because I feel I'm overweight for such a volatile market. We need 185 to go. Thank you. 187 we're looking at now. We've got a little bit of room. We've got about six tick range below us. That's that's okay. 187 please. I'm willing to sit this out now. Don't take me alive is coming in. Everything else is drifting. Ed, not Everything else can't drift at the same time so I'm not particularly confident this has got much in the way of legs. So I'm going to just play it a little bit safer. 184, is that 184 going to go? 187 is still a key point. I'm probably a little underweight now. It depends whether 187, if 187 goes, then I'll drop some money in there. If not, I can afford to hold it down to the lowest point at which it's traded. There we go. Don't take me alive, it's coming in a little bit. It's pretty volatile for this type of market in terms of a, a, a low volatility, a high volatility, low range sort of way, if you understand where I'm coming from. Okay, a little bit of movement coming up here. Yeah, probably underweight now. That's my fault, really, just because I wasn't reading it very well. I'm not getting the right sort of feeling from this because I, I, I'm not full-blooded on this. I think I'm just going to take what I've got. Um, it may push higher. I'd love it to push higher, but uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm beginning to think about exiting. So, I'm not going to gamble on it going higher. I think this is false at 190. We'll see in a second. I'll exit my trade so I can be square. And uh, we'll see if that 190 goes. It looks false to me. If I had more time, I might sit around and wait for it to go. There it goes. Yeah. So there you go. The push up is going to continue now. No, no, more money came back in at 190. No, and it went again. A bit chaotic. And now it's coming at 189. So somebody's trying to get this down. Somebody's trying to push the price down. Yeah, no, I think we're probably about right to exit there. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.